Hey guys, it's Kendra. So today's Friday and Kelsey and I are getting ready to go um, to our leasing office to pick up some packages and we have not checked our P.O. box in quite some time so we need to go do that. We just got done filming a favorites video. I feel productive so far because we got the favorites video out the way now it just needs to be edited. Um, we're liking our iMac so far. It's okay. It's not like amazing how we heard it was but we're getting the hang of using it because it is a little different than a MacBook. You have to get used to different, you know, little things like the keys and like the mouse and everything because I'm so used to just the MacBook. I'm sorry, I'm looking up here. Yeah, I'm used to the MacBook, so. But we're getting there. Um, I'm going to pre-film another video tomorrow. So I'm going to be using that new lip kit by Kylie. Well, it's not brand new. It's the 22 color. I ordered it and I still have not worn it. So tomorrow will be the first time I'm wearing it. And it's going to be like kind of like a first impression type thing in the video because I don't know how it wears or anything like that. So we'll see. And I kind of want to stop at Starbucks too because I want a chai, an iced chai. So we're probably going to do that also. So I'm at the post office. Going to see what we have. Legit, like this is how many packages we have. This is ridiculous. Like I told y'all, this is how long it's been since we checked this thing. There's one. There's two and three. There's four. So the Starbucks line is not bad today. It's like three cars in front of us, but that's all right. It's not wrapped around the building, so that's good enough. Hi guys, so I just got done filming a video and it was my first talk through tutorial and I really hope it went well. Um, it was kind of weird for me to do a talk through because I had never done one before because it's kind of tricky trying to multitask like while you're talking and putting on makeup at the same time. So it was my first talk through tutorial. Um, this is the makeup that I did. Um, it's been like an hour since I started filming. I like how it turned out. It's very glowy. You guys know I only like glowy on the cheeks and a little bit on the nose and I didn't do any wing liner so that was different. Um, but today's Saturday. I don't think I mentioned that. And I never film on Saturdays, but I'm trying to pre-film because we leave for LA in a few days. So we can have some videos up while we're gone. And this is going to be one of the looks. I'm going to wear this makeup more often. I really like it with the bold lip. And I did talk about this Kylie Cosmetics 22 lip shade in the video. So you guys have to check that video out to see my thoughts. So I'm going to um, clean up all this makeup and I'm probably going to go ahead and pack my makeup for LA. But I won't be wearing any of the makeup that I'm packing like in the meantime. So I'll just put it all to the side so I can be proactive and it's one less thing I have to worry about when we're packing. And I need to wash some clothes because Saturday is like a chores day for Kelsey and I. Even though I gentle clean every day and I say gentle clean when I, when I say that I mean like just subtle things like wipe down counters things like that but on Saturdays is when we like really do chores like um swift for the kitchen floor swift for the bathroom floors clean the bathrooms do laundry that kind of thing I already vacuumed the other day so I don't have to do that today this room might need to be vacuumed because we shed so much like Kelsey and I shed like golden retrievers and if you have a lot of hair you understand like it's so much hair in this room like on the floor I probably just vacuum this room I don't need to vacuum anything else though Hi guys, so we just got to LA. Um, we just checked in and we're in our room and um, we're waiting on my, our mom because she came as well, but she uh, took like a different flight and she rented a car. So she should be on her way because she called me already and told um, told us that she um, got off her flight. So we're just waiting on her. In like a couple hours, we have to go um, downstairs to get like our lanyard things for the seminar tomorrow so that we're able to get in. And we're exhausted. I probably look so tired right now because me and Kendra did not go to sleep at all last night. We stayed up. And the reason we stayed up is because um, our flight left so early and we didn't want to oversleep and miss our flight. Because you guys know we missed our flight when we went to um, Beautycon New York. We were already up super early because um, we left the house at 4.30 this morning. So we never went to sleep. Um, we both got like an hour and 30 minutes of sleep on the plane but not consistently, kind of like on and off, because you know, you can't really get a really good sleep on the plane, kind of like cat naps. But I'm gonna sleep so good tonight, I'm so tired. It's not as warm as it usually is when we come. It's like in the 50s, 
and it's supposed to be like this the whole time we're here but we leave friday so it's like a really short trip hi guys it's kendra so it's later in the day it's the same day um it's about seven ish i think and kelsey and i and my mom are getting ready to go to a cocktail party the actual event is tomorrow like the actual seminar but today is kind of like a little mixer and they actually sent us something to our room it's really cute they sent us these really cute youtube socks and this little hershey chocolate bar that has our channel name on it which is really really cute and they also a speaker i don't know yeah it's i guess it's a box. speaker i've never seen one of these so that's kind of neat it's a they both sent us one of each this is what the speaker came in this box like a gift and i guess this is the card we each got one with our names on it so that was really nice no socks so i still think this chocolate bar is so cute i don't want to open it i just want to save it because it looks so cute with our name on it <laughs> developing my sense of fragrance and cultivating okay. my hobby in the 80s and okay. I started Carol's Daughter as a business in 93. Okay. When I guess some of you were born. <laughs> but one of the initial natural hair movements in the early 90s was, you know, people wearing locks and people wearing braids. It was a much smaller community. It wasn't something that was easily accepted. You couldn't just go to work one day with one hairstyle and come in the next day bald. You know, like that, that just, it just didn't work. Please join me in welcoming to the stage actor, writer, director, Nate Parker. Good, how y'all doing? Ugh. Good, all right, all right. Well, you gotta understand, like, when, when you think of the vlogger, when you think of you, you entrepreneurs, uh, we are aspiring to be like you. You're the ones with courage. You know what I mean? You're the one that's, that are taking those type of risks. We usually come to Hollywood looking to fit into a box. Because we're told by someone, you can be an actor, you could fit here, you should come out. We come out and we're like, okay, where are the agencies? Where are the studio? Who do I need to meet? Who do I need to dance for in a way? Um, but you guys put yourself out there. You're studio systems, kind of. Because you don't have, you know, there's no boss. You do what you want to do, you say what you want to say. It's honest and it's raw. That's why people respond. I think you're always looking for a white space, which is why this is an excellent opportunity to to speak because this is the place that space is big. It's white too, for sure. So, so, so fill up void. There's a white space. You know, people. What do people need? They need a reverend and five A students instead of to follow. You know, the Osborns. Or no one has got that. Or they need a place to do poetry. Or these comics that uh, Hollywood wouldn't recognize need a break. You know, in a mainstream. Hi guys. So we're back from the YouTube Black event. It was really good. Um, I loved all the speakers. We loved Nate Parker. He was really good, um, a really good speaker. He was like one of our favorites. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Nate Parker, he was in Red Tails, The Great Debaters, 
Pratt, if you're not familiar, but um, he was really good. We were, we were there since like nine-ish this morning, then we had a break. Um, we went to lunch and then we came back and then that's when we saw Russell Simmons. And we also um, got to see Mara Brock Akil speak. I think that's how you say her name. She's a writer for Girlfriends in the Game and Being Mary Jane. I loved her. We didn't get a chance to vlog her because I saw like the back of her head, but she was really good. I really enjoyed her speaking. My mom's not here right now. She went to get something to eat um, because we already had lunch, so. I assumed she was going to get something to eat while we were at the event. They are having a party later. We want to go. Well, we haven't really decided yet, but if we do, we'll vlog it. But yeah, it was overall, it was a really good event. This is the first time they've ever done anything like this with just like a black YouTubers event. And it wasn't just like beauty gurus. It was like all YouTubers, which was really cool. So you got to see like more than one like genre of types of videos of like YouTubers and stuff. So that was really cool. But we tried to vlog as much as we can on this trip. We leave tomorrow. Today is... Thursday so we leave tomorrow which is Friday um so it was a short trip but it was still really good and we un enjoyed seeing like all the YouTubers like I said also thanks to YouTube for inviting us we're so grateful that they we were one of the channels that they picked to come and this isn't going to be the last time that they have something like this they're going to do these more often and I forgot how often they said they would do them like yearly I'm not really sure but they are going to be doing more of these so I'm super excited to see like how bigger they get Hey guys so we're about to get ready to go to this party it started about an hour ago so we are going a little bit later but we were at the grove and like getting something to eat and stuff so uh, we won't be late but we won't be early either well we are late actually but it's a party you don't have to be on time but um, this is the dress I'm wearing it's from house of CB and I haven't taken a picture yet but um, just waiting on Kendra we're almost done and then we'll be out the door I guess I'll show mom's outfit <laughs> So this is what mom's wearing. <laughs> Looks so cute. This is the back of her shirt. It's nice and flowy. Hey guys, so today is Saturday and we got back in from LA last night and we got in around like 1 a.m. I'm still kind of tired. Oh wait, my cousin's calling. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we got back last night and I got a good amount of sleep last night. I do feel refreshed. 
uh, because I didn't really sleep on the plane. I can never really get a good, good sleep on the plane just because I don't see how people sleep like sitting up. It's just not comfortable to me. Yeah, I'm just glad we got back home safely. But yeah, we're about to go get something to eat. We're going to Cracker Barrel because I want some pancakes. Yeah, I was craving them as soon as I woke up this morning. But Cracker Barrel serves breakfast all day, so that's good. Yeah, I broke my nail last night. I broke my pinky and it hurt so bad because it wasn't off at first. It was like hanging off. And I'm pretty sure I broke it when I was bringing my luggage inside the apartment because it was so heavy and I was struggling. And I noticed that my nail was like coming off after I put my luggage down. But yeah, but whatever. I'm getting these taken off soon anyway and getting like a fresh new set. But yeah, I'm just waiting on Kendra. My mom's already ready to go. She's doing some work on her computer. And then Kendra is, she should be done getting ready by now. But yeah, we're about to get ready to go. I think I'm about to take off it of the day picture. But I'm just like super casual. I'm wearing like this maxi dress from Lulu's. But yeah. Kendra so we just got back from getting something to eat and I think we're gonna um, go look at some of our comments from our last twin talk video because we haven't filmed one since the last one obviously we need to see what topics everyone wants to see next because we didn't get to film one that was supposed to go up at the end of March so because we we're in LA so that one is probably gonna go up sometime this week so we're gonna film that and then I think we're gonna edit this vlog also. This vlog is gonna go up sometime this week, I think. Probably this Sunday, not tomorrow, but the Sunday after that, I think. So we also need to desperately go grocery shopping. Probably not today, but probably tomorrow or Monday because we need some groceries. And I've been eating terrible these past few days, like not that great. So I need to get back on track with what I'm eating. Because out of town, you like to try new things and like, you know, you just wanna eat different things and you don't always have access to healthy food when you're out of town but we did eat at earth cafe which is our like our favorite place in la and they have healthy stuff so we always like love the food there and then we went to in and out but i wasn't i wasn't that impressed i i don't understand the hype like i don't get it it just tastes like a regular burger and fries to me to be honest but i don't eat burger and fries that often so but it was okay umami burger has amazing burgers it's in, it's at the grove so if you haven't tried Umami Burger and you live in California, it's bomb. But in and out they can keep that. Hi guys, so it's Sunday night and I'm about to make me and Kendra some dinner real quickly. We're not meal prepping this week because we leave for Dallas on Thursday. So I'm just making this barbecue chicken teriyaki. And then I'm making some vegetable fried rice, both from Trader Joe's. And this is our first time trying this, so I hope it's good because we usually have this rice with the honey chicken but we decided to do this chicken this time well orange chicken not um honey chicken but yeah we're just gonna eat this tonight and then for the next two days we're just gonna eat salads um because we don't see any point in meal prepping when we're, gonna, we're leaving on thursday so if you didn't know these little dinners they always come with the sauce on like the side and you just put it over top after it's done heating and i'm just heating up that pan for the rest after because i always cook the meat first because takes a little longer to cook than the rice but they both cook pretty fast so yep that's what I'm doing now